What's up, Internet? This is JTC Camp showing you a different way to board a ship in Assassin's Creed 4. Nice shuttle pirates. Now, if you're like me, you've boarded a bunch of ships, and you hate it when you have to do the objective where you have to go up to the top and destroy the enemy ship's flag. I think it's stupid. Also, you gotta destroy the powder barrels, kill the officers, it's dumb. I like to do things at my own pace. So, we're gonna take down a ship. Like that. Uh, by the way, the jackdaw that I'm using is fully upgraded. And I've defeated all four legendary ships, so that ramming charge you saw me do a second ago... You unlock that after you defeat all four legendary ships, which is dumb because it would really come in handy in some of those fights. Now, once you've disabled the ship, if you don't want to do the stupid boarding exercise, which I never do, you want to get to where you can't board the ship. So either go far enough away from it or try and position your ship to the rear or front of it like I'm doing here. And then you just want to board it. Now you can go off the rope there, but I like going up here because you get a better swing and it looks cooler. Sploosh. Ironic that I'm wearing Altair's robes considering he would touch water and drowned instantly in the first game, which honestly I think was the best one. But, uh, climb up, you idiot. There you go. And so you'll notice that on the radar, all of the red dots just spawned. <clears throat> and so, once you get up here, it's just a matter of killing everybody. So, I like fighting unarmed, uh, because the counter kills are much faster. That's one thing I don't like about all the new games, is all of the different counter-kill combos that they made. They look cool, but they take forever to do in combat. And it just really slows down the flow of the fighting. I do like the use of the pistols, though. Downside to fighting unarmed is that you can't block attacks, but since they got rid of the block button, it doesn't much matter anyway. Uh, hang on. The guys up top, they'll, they might give you some problems, but pretty much you can take these guys out at your leisure because they won't automatically engage you. Not to mention they won't respawn either like they do if you board the ship uh, in the normal way. So once you deal with all the guys down there, you can uh, destroy the uh, the powder barrels. Let's see, there's usually three. Uh, there's the next one. I'm going to have to reload here. You can set them off manually too. Like that. <clears throat> And then, let's see, I'm going to finish reloading. And then, just go up here. Choke this guy out. I won't waste a bullet. I'll just pick up this gun. Headshot. And then, climb up to where they've got the flag. And you can destroy it this way. Now, this might take a little bit longer than the way you would normally board it because you're doing all of the objectives. However, they don't respawn. You have a much better chance of living and none of your crew will die this way. So if you have, if you're low on crew members but you want to take over a big ship, this is definitely, I recommend doing it. And then just, you know, jump off the ship and swim back and uh, I'm gonna keep this in here to show you what happens when you go to uh, finally board it. Uh, 
you do not want to try this in a storm, by the way, because the waves will get choppy and you could get killed by the ocean. Uh, it has happened to me before, but I also recommend not boarding ships the normal way in a storm either. I recommend getting out of there. So pretty much, you're back up on the ship, take the wheel, and then you're going to want to swing around into position. Where did that little schooner come from? And then get up alongside it. You see the uh, icon to board. You board it. Instant victory. And then you can do whatever the heck you want with it. I'll just repair the jackdaw. And no cutscene uh, because there's no men left. And uh, and then the ship sinks, and there you go. That is how to board a ship without doing the stupid objectives.